Oh. You know, I didn't really look at these two things. Oh. Oh, it needs lead, though. We might be able to find lead, though. We might be able to find lead. That looks really cool. I want to try that. This looks really cool, too. Okay, I need to go get some resources. <gasps> oh, my. No, no, no. Nope, 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 Dude, he didn't care about me at all. Okay. Um, he knows I'm building a base, and he doesn't want to mess with me now. That was weird. He's like, hey, what's up? How's it going, dude? Which way do you... Well, that only costs glass. Uh, I think we have enough for another thing of glass. It'd be really cool to have a glass walkway. Me thinks. Me thinketh, indeed. Believe it or not, I do actually once in a while think. How do I... Oh. Wah. Oh, titanium. Wait, what do we need the titanium ingot for? Maybe I shouldn't have made that. Did I? Let's let's check real quick. Oh, the moon pool needed two titanium ingots. Well, OK, it's still really cool, though. So, <laughs> oh, man, it might be hard to find that much titanium. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> is that 10 already? It is. <laughs> oh my word. Let's make more glass. Let's make one of these. Alright, let's make that glass walkway. Let's see how cool this looks. Wait, where did I... Is the other glass in here? Where did I put the other glass? I know, I know I have another glass. It exists. There's the glass. See, I knew I wasn't crazy. Let's get these other posters. All right, let's hope this is the right direction. Haha, <laughs> cool. Oh, I like it. Can we see the stupid grow bed on top? Oh, we can. <laughs> they're <laughs> they're growing out of the water. Wait, let's go look. Let's go look. <laughs> Boys, I think we've broken the game. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. When can we harvest them? Oh, I see. 40%. Gotcha. Wow, so they're going to get even bigger. Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, that's cool. You can see inside, too. Actually, you can see through it, too, really clear. Okay, I like... <laughs> I shouldn't have made one of these, because now I only want to make it out of glass. So nice looking. What do these cost? Just titanium. We need more glass, huh? Yeah. Now that... That looks cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I like it. All right, so we got a little bit more um, quartz. I'm so excited that I just keep looking for resources like in bursts rather than just like doing something a little bit more maybe efficient and going out until I find like all of it. But this way is more fun for me, so. <laughs> uh glass compartment and there nice uh oh did we build it inside of the sea moth that's not good oh I like this walkway yeah well let's take advantage of our uh, bed thing bed thing it's just a bed but here oh my goodness I don't like that Good thing is, like, when you wake up, you're normal. Like, this is fine. Oh, that's weird. 
Oh, I love it. I love this base. I know it's dumb and stupid and there's not much to it, but I like it anyway. Just having... I'm telling... I don't know how, how well this comes through, but man, it's just... It's so nice having a place that feels at least, like, a little bit safe. Like, I... I'm not as stressed out in here. It's pretty nice. Oh, yes. We're doing it. We're making another one. Here, let's mirror this. Because we're good. Anyone that's followed my Minecraft Let's Play knows how terrible I am at building. But we'll pretend like I'm good anyway. <laughs> Aurora poster or prawn suit? Oh, okay, never mind. There's no contest. Prawn suit poster right here. Yeah. Hey, this uh, this actually, honestly, this is probably one of the nicer places I've made. I just, I just have a tendency to not make nice things, you know? Anyone else, else out there understand what I'm saying? Where you just make things based on functionality and not on pretty much anything else? That's what I do usually. So I'm trying really hard to make this nice. This is a big effort for me. I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> okay. I need some food. Actually, I need water more. Let's make some water. To prevent dying. Vital signs stabilizing. You bet your boots they're stabilizing. I think the trick with uh, food is... You carry around the live fish in your inventory, squirming and wiggling, and then you cook it right before you eat it, and that way it doesn't go bad. Yeah, because like these are already going bad, but as long as they don't go rotten, I think we're okay. We're, we're figuring this game out, little bit by little bit. Nice. Okay, so let's move the sea moth here. I went Welcome aboard, Captain. every so often it does this and it's sort of like <laughs> th that's not where my head is my my head is back here but okay let's just get away from this horrendous scenario <laughs> I don't know why it does it but good news I did find another piece of lead and I left the other one somewhere else apparently See, that's the problem. All my storage is like, it's all spread all over the place. Let's, uh, let's just pick everything up here. Well, almost everything. I want to get the at least one lead here. Oh, did I already move it? Or did I already use it? That would be way, way more dumb if that were the case. I think I put it in one of these chests. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. There it is. Let's put the lithium away, take the lead out. <laughs> isn't that like a, isn't that like a saying for, um, like, like in Westerns when they like whip out their revolver or something? I feel like it is. So, is this a good place to put the moon pool? Can we move it this way? Oh, we can. Let's put it here. Nice. <laughs> it's like squeaking. Okay, so we can now do something with the moon pool. Damage due to weak whole strength of... I think we have a problem. <laughs> oh no, our base is flooding. Human contact. It is normal to experience psychological discomfort. <laughs> no, I think this is physical discomfort, computer. Thanks, thanks for the input, though. Or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. <laughs> okay, seriously though, when when I was playing the uh, early access version of this. The the feeling of being alone, like in VR, it really gets to you. It's kind of 
It's impressive how well made this game is. I, again, if you ever get the chance for VR, take it. So, we have a problem, obviously. And I'm not entirely sure what we're supposed to be doing. Does some of these... Oh. Reinforces whole, or increases whole integrity. Well, conveniently, I already have lithium. It's like I knew this was going to happen. Excuse you, sir. <laughs> Look, it's totally full of water. <laughs> okay, so where do we put these whole reinforcers? Mm, not there. Why? Why not there? Oops. Where can I put it? I don't want to put it on the windows. I can put it here. Sure, let's put one here. Ooh, plus seven to base whole strength total now 5.4. So does that mean we're good, maybe? All right, I think you seek fluid intake. One day that's gonna get old. And I'm pretty sure that day was yesterday. Um, wait, where's, okay. This does work, right? Yeah. How are we gonna get the water out of here when we repair it? Oh no, I'm gonna run out of oxygen. Okay. Where are all the leakages? We got one. There we go, fix the breaks in the glass. No problem. And our nice new moon pool, there's holes already. Let's fix those. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Oh, but we didn't get this last one. There we go. Oh, this is cool. You can like, you can just swim in and out of your base. That's neat. <laughs> ah yes home sweet home <laughs> oh dear so what do we got in here that looks cool oh wait a second um vehicle docking bay with high energy and structural requirements so I think, let's wait for this to drain out, but I think that we can put the sea moth in here. Which is good news because it'll protect it from the, uh, the stalkers. Oh yeah, I like that. We don't even have to use the door. It was pointless making a door. We never should have made one. Okay, so let's put the sea moth in there and see if our whole base like... Oh my goodness. I can I can reset the view in VR, but it like it puts me out of the game and I don't want to mess up the recording. Yeah, it just goes right in. 74 out of 75, 73 out of 75, 72. Uh-oh. We're slowly draining our batteries. <laughs> Health 94%. Oh wait, can I put this? A chance. Okay, health 100%, energy charging 49%, uh-oh, uh, 60 out of 75, <laughs> okay, it might drain it, but that's okay, we'll get more in the morning, actually, if I sleep right now, then we should be fine, let's, uh, let's go ahead and move our stuff into the new base, because ideally, like, we don't even want to use this place, right, oh, it was already full, alright, Let's go stash this all. Ah, this... This is so satisfying. Oh, look at I found a new uh, creature egg. I'm pretty sure we can do something with them later. Um... But... I don't know exactly what that one is. But we got it. And it looks different, because we have a... We have a few creature eggs. Oop. We have a few. Yeah, this one and this one. And it looks different from all of them, so. Ah, we're short one. Are you kidding me? Here, let's, uh, eat. That might make sense. Let's just 
Oh, no, 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 no. I need my knife. <laughs> Oops. Uh, that can stay in there. Uh, stalker tooth. Oh, yeah, I forgot we got that. Didn't that have something to do with the enameled glass? I feel like there was a pop-up that said something about that. I don't remember. Okay, that's almost everything. All right, let's uh, get the last little bit out of the floating storage thing over here. And then we will be free. Can I pick this up? Yes! <laughs> now our storage is 100% completely and totally moved into here. Into our true base. Put that away because I don't want to see it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, I already had one of those. But yeah, it's another creature egg. I, I'm i saving those because I'm betting I'm betting we can do something. Um, okay, so we only really need one more thing to totally replace our life pod, and that is the radio. And I think if we go look at our new little storage... I, I'm sorry if that was nauseating. Wait, we have gold. Okay, let's let's make let's make this thing first, the radio. Which we aren't gonna put in our bedroom because that would be weird. Although the bedroom is kinda crammed with a bunch of junk. It's fine. We can move stuff later. Let's put the radio. <laughs> no, let's let's put it uh what, like here? Not too shabby. There we go. Okay, so we got a radio, we have storage, we have the fabricator, we have a source of food and water, even though it's a little bit mediocre. <laughs> ah, scanner room. This thing sounds cool. And also, it sounds like a big deal, power-wise, so a little bit concerned about that. Um, did it need copper? I don't think so, but I got some anyway. Um, do we have table coral? Yes. Or wait, table coral? What's this? Coral tube. The tiny differences are what make the difference. Wait, where's all the tight? What in the world just happened? More titanium. Look what I found. I'm just in the caves, like, looking for some quartz and stuff. Sand. Oh, it's silver. Yes. The rarest of the materials. This is a pretty good cave. I found a bunch of quartz. A few too many crash fish. I think is what they're called. Yeah, that was the last one. Oh, <gasps> please be silver. It's lead. That's still good. See, that's the thing. Those uh, soft or not soft, but like smooth round ones. Those ones always have good materials. I'm betting there's a crash fish here. Yep. Can we sneak by him? Ooh, we're pro. Nope, we're not pro. Not pro. How do you get out? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another one! <laughs> oh, oh. oh, the adventures of caves. Hey, there's some metal too. Inventory full. You have got to be kidding me. There's also a stalker over there. And with that, I believe, not the glass, but the titanium, we have enough to build the scanner room. Oops. I always press the wrong button. Oh my, it's big. Uh, does it connect by any chance? Wait, how do you rotate? Oh, it does. It does. I saw it. It connected. This is hard. It, it, uh, it's based on like where my head is, but then also more than that somehow. Can I rotate it? What? Oh, oh. They're poisoning me. Oh, I can rotate it. I was trying to... <laughs> Here. Oh, wait. Yes. Here we go. 
Let's see what this this uh, gigantor thing is. Also, I kind of put it in the middle, which is fine. I think these things are where you can put like uh, walkways and stuff. Maybe I don't know. All right, let's go. Let's go take a peek. See what this thing can do, and see if our power is draining as well. 75 out of 75 right now. That's at the top. I, I don't know why it's cut off in VR, but it is. Or like when it's being displayed in VR. Uh, scanner room. Oh. What in the world? That thing looks crazy. Camera drone. Whoa. Scanner room HUD chip. Scanner room range upgrade. Okay, so we can like put uh Whoa. Okay, this this is what you need VR for. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you see that? Like you can see the oh, I wish I could show my hands. There's like there's like a tunnel that goes down there. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Wait, can we look for stuff? Nope, wrong button. Oh, it's scanning. Wait, where is that though relative to us <laughs> is it literally this way wait let's okay we have to go check we have to go check i'm like looking around to see if i see it don't see it it's led us astray or else i just went the wrong way which is definitely possible i have a legendary sense of direction and by legendary i mean legendarily bad hmm Wait, wait. <gasps> oh my goodness. It can literally show us where resources are. That is overpowered. Well, I don't know, it's overpowered. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, well, maybe it's not. Oh, look at all the metal salvage. See, the thing is, I know where this is though. This is a stalker nest. And this is just the kelp forest, and it's frightening. And I don't want to go there. We're doing pretty good. The the power is flickering. Not not the power itself, like the lights, but like the number. So I bet if we if it was nighttime, this would probably drain our power. So if we turn this off. Yeah, I think I think we're good. That's cool though, we can have this map up all the time. <gasps> Ow! That scared me. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I don't have any fluid intake. But that's okay, because we'll die here. <laughs> Wait. Can it make coffee fast enough so that we don't die? What kind of crazy coffee machine is this? Your, your will will be tested, coffee vending machine. <laughs> Uh oh, I'm still taking damage. Yes, yes. Coffee completed indeed. That's literally a lifesaver. <laughs> literally. The coffee takes forever to make. I could see though if you had like a ton of these, it could be, I mean, it takes up a lot of inventory, but. Like if you had a ton of them, just always making coffee for you, it could be it could be a good setup. Okay, so we made the scanner room, we made the moon pool. We're gonna make a window, right over the bed, and then we will have accomplished what I want to accomplish. Yeah, now the fish can watch me sleep with the fish, sleeping with the fish. <laughs> got the storage we got the moon pool that apparently drains our energy the scanner room which also apparently drains our energy and apparently we have camera drones what 
How do you... Oh, you... You probably do it from, uh... Wait, can I put this anywhere? Huh. Okay, we have to try that out. We must. It's too cool. Welcome aboard, Captain. The one thing I didn't click on was this. Ah, control camera. Ooh. Oh, that is weird. There's the one we just placed. Wait, let's go. Let's keep an eye on the stalker. Where is he? Oh, this is weird. Oh, he's playing with the... Oh, my. He doesn't care about cameras, right? Why does it seem like he cares? <laughs> I think he wants it. Wow. He just broke his back. Okay, he's chasing it. Wait, let's lead him away from the base. Oh, this is genius. This is genius. This is actually genius right here. He's like playing. That's cool. Follow the little camera drone. <laughs> Victory is ours. That's so weird. He, Whenever he yells, it's like super far away sounding. We need to keep going. Where's his home? Let's take him to his home. Over in the kelp forest. With all of the other stalkers. That may have exiled him or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that he wants to eat this camera. Actually that makes sense. Because the camera is basically just metal. So. He's. Oh. Oh my goodness. I can't handle this. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I tried. I really did. I promise I did. I tried. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. He was going to spear us in the face. Oh, my word. Nice. He's far away, though. That's awesome. Cool. Okay, so there is one more thing that I want to try to build. We're, we're probably not going to be able to build the battery chargers today, today, but what we can build is one of these plant pots. Um, I'm thinking I kind of want to do this, but I feel like if I'm going to make it look nice, then we should use this one. Yes. It will be a gorgeous little... Uh, right next to the bed, right? That's where you put plants? I wouldn't know. So, is it like the other one? Oh, we can put stuff in it. Um, so, the interior one is different than the exterior one, I assume. Do we have anything we can grow? Here, let's try to grow this. I don't think it's going to work. I just want to try. We don't have anything else. Unless you can grow that. All right, let's see. Nope, that doesn't work. And that doesn't work. So... Oh, you know what? I bet... <laughs> you know... <sighs> Do you guys remember when I uh, accidentally ate the only, like, food thingies that we had? When I was trying to put them in the... Yeah. You remember that part? I'm betting those go in here. So we might have to go get some of those later. But I think that that's going to do it for today's episode. There's really... We, we've accomplished a lot today. We actually have a proper base. We have storage. We have a place to charge our Seamoth. We have a scanner room that can find us resources. I think the only thing to do is that will really make it our home is turn off the ping for the life pod and then place down a beacon and we can truly mark this as our home Let's just uh pop it down right here there we go 
beacon number two. That's right. 